Welcome to the Tommy Museum of Art. I'm Cindy Peterson, the museum's executive director. And we are in a new exhibition, a very anxious feeling, Voices of Unrest in the American Experience, 20 years from the Beth Rudin DeWoody collection. And with me today is Amethyst Ray Beaver, our co-curator of this exhibition. And she is assistant curator at 21C Museum Hotels. And you will just see her passion, her research and scholarship that just bubbles over as she talks about the works that she's researched and the artists as we amplify their voices. And with me also is Pedro Salai, Artistic Director of Southwest Virginia Ballet. And Pedro and I, as well as, well as with the museum, has worked together for over a decade with community programming, public programming here at the museum. And the list goes on, and as you'll see today, uh, we're bringing together both art, visual art, and performing art with dance and movement. Pedro, it's so wonderful to meet you. Thank you for being here today um, and for wanting to talk about this work, which I think um, has, has exciting, exciting resonances for both of us. Um, this was a work that was really important when considering the whole exhibition because it brought so much joy and, um, and lightness, specifically coming from a place of, of darkness. So for those of you who don't know, this is a work by an artist named Jose Alvarez, who is originally from Venezuela but lives and works in, um, in Florida now. And he came to the US in the 1980s in, in order to escape persecution um, as a gay man. It was not a safe time for him to be in Venezuela, and he found safety and love here in the United States. He was not able to stay in the US legally, so um, he assumed a false identity. Jose Alvarez lived in the US for 20 years under that alias until um, in 2018, he was detained and taken to the Crome detention facility in Miami-Dade County, where he spent two very difficult months. Um, he talks about these months as being some of the darkest moments of his life, where um, he got through it by painting or drawing pictures of fellow prisoners and taking down their stories. And when he was finally released, this was the first work he made when he came back. This is called The Promised Land. And um, yeah, I, I love it for so many reasons. He's using such exciting materials, um, mica and um, porcupine quills and feathers and acrylic paint. And there's just something so joyous about, you know, about the work and about his story. Um, so yeah, I'm curious as to why you were drawn to this work. Thank you for having me. Yes, because, you know, like you said, the name Promised Land, you know, Venezuela, mm -hmm. you know, we are born in Venezuela too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it's a, ironic because we came mm -hmm. to the United States for a hope, mm -hmm. a better place. But Venezuela is a beautiful place. Like you said, the beautiful colors and the movement, mm -hmm. um, because we have a lot of nature mm -hmm. and we have mountains and we have different uh, movements, you know, in the space that mm -hmm. I can see that and the reflection of that is, is so beautiful because the ocean, you can oh, see the beautiful yeah. ocean. That's a, uh, imagine that in the, just sitting in the beach and mm -hmm. see all the clear water and all these beautiful colors like fish, that's you awesome. know, that's why remarkable. I love that. And, uh, and I choose these because like I say, this is my roots, Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's, it's, it's incredible how many Hispanic people to bring joy to to the art world here in the United States. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. This yeah, this work is extremely special. Yeah. Um, and so you're gonna do a dance for us. Yes, that was um, like say I'm going to inspire Poropo. It's a traditional Venezuelan dance. Mm -hmm. It's called zapateo, mm -hmm. and um, and that's a traditional dance in our country. We learned that from when we were kids in school. Is it a celebration dance? It's a celebration dance. Okay. Yes, it's a very nice little dance at Puro Zapateo. I love it. Yes. I love it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I will. I'm, and you I know hear I will. the lovely instruments and the music. Cuatro Maracas, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, it's, it's beautiful in the harp too, this famous okay. instrument in, in the traditional music of Venezuela. Fantastic, I love it. Porque pasa 
cada rato Me duele a fondo de pecho Tener yo que pregonarlo Me duele a fondo de pecho Tener yo que pregonarlo Es mejor el enemigo que amigo de vez en cuando No sabes quién en verdad te pueda tender la mano En cambio del enemigo siempre andas bien preparado El que dice ser tu amigo debe estar interesado Está viendo tu futuro pero nunca vio el pasado Mis amigos son mis padres y Cristo crucificado Ya lo llaman fulano. 